I really like this one and I use it a lot uh, because I like watching like discovery channels and all that uh, but we're gonna use subcast from the command line uh, watching from a external player like VLC M player or totem whatever player you want okay um, so let me show you what it is here uh, so basically if I let's say I want to watch my um, National Geographic or Discovery Channel whatever I can do that um, this, I'm just gonna give you an example right now though let's say I want to watch Discovery Channel okay uh, well I put it as uh, to sleep for 10 seconds so either wait for 10 seconds here <clears throat> and we're watching the Discovery Channel and who the hell is this? Oh, it's Bear Grylls. Okay. Uh, so this is how you I would watch it from the command line. And if you want to do the same, uh, let me show you what I have here. So let me close that off here. And let me clear this. So first of all, uh, I talked about this in the past. There's also a GUI version, although the GUI version is really not complete and that's why I like using the command line version I can just use VLC and I can you know you know move it around really quick and it's not as clunky uh, so anyways let me show you the commands that I have so I'm just going to talk about one of them here okay so this is my alias here and you can see that um, the commands it starts from here uh, so how does this work Basically, I'm using the command line version um, of subcast, and this is the command line version here. Uh, let me show you what was that package called here. So the GUI one, uh, if you don't know, <coughs> which you don't really need the GUI, but this is the GUI um, one that you need to install. Okay, this is the GUI front end for subcast. All you really need is it's called S P A U T H. This is the command line version, and this is the only one that you really need. Okay, the GUI is, like I said, it's not uh, finished in my opinion. But this is all you really need to need to install. I'll give you the PPA if you want to install it. Okay, but let's clear that. So we're using uh, the A, the S P A U T H, but in here it's called S P S C, and I'll give you the help here. Uh, so let me try to explain this command here. So right here, the first part here, okay, it's basically just telling it to use um, command line version of subcast, uh, and then the URL of the channel, and the local port and the player port. So command line version of subcast, the channel that we're connecting to, uh, the local port and the player port here, okay. So all corresponding to uh, each other there. Uh, this part here, the dev null here, means that we're not going to output any messages on our terminal. Uh, that's because we don't really need that message. And this little extra and here is to uh, pop it out from the, the current session. So even if you close the terminal, it's not going to affect it. I think that's how you would explain it. <laughs> and I'm going to sleep for 10 seconds the reason we want to sleep for 10 seconds is because it takes um, you know a little bit of time to connect to this channel uh, so sleep for 10 seconds it helps it um, so after 10 seconds it's going to execute the next command and this next command here is uh, basically we're telling VLC or you can use M player or whatever you want to use right but uh, VLC for this one and we'll tell it to connect to our local host and we'll use that port here this is the player port it's the same one as this that we put in here Okay. again you can use any of these ports numbers that you want just make sure that you have your router you know open to those ports I guess <clears throat> but let's go back to this command so we tell it VLC to uh, you know take the stream uh, from this um, subcast command line player here and uh, we're gonna watch it from VLC okay uh, but that's under a wait command the reason I put the wait command here is that when you exit VLC it's gonna execute this next command 
uh, and that is to close off this first one here because by default even if you exit the terminal it's not going to kill itself so that's why the wait command is actually pretty good at, uh, at doing this so you wait for VLC to exit and then after it exits uh, you can kill all uh, the SPSC here um, so that is the whole command line there I actually got the idea from this guy um, that posted on command line foo his was uh, okay but I actually fixed it uh, using the wait command and all that uh, now you just do it in one step before I have to do like two or three different steps just to accomplish the same thing that I'm doing right now so that's it and if for the people that wants the channels that I have I'll post it on my blog or whatever and all you gotta do is just um, copy paste it into your bash you know RC file and you can use the same thing so currently I only have a few channels um, and this is like a, mainly in English, okay? So I got the Boomerang channel if you want to watch cartoons. It's also a Cartoon Network one, but it's in Romanian, you know, uh, spoken language. Uh, Animal Planet and all that. Oh, let me explain you my um, alias naming convention if you want to know also. So SPP is basically stands for, we're going to use Subcast Player. Uh, doc here is you know the category like documentaries um, anime or movies or whatever and dash and then we have our channel title what the hell it is and then we have a dot and then we didn't tell it to you uh, what language is, is, is that okay so the spoken language is English and the sub uh, titles is Romanian basically that's how I have it and I have you know movie channels um, it has some news there's also some shows and some sports here so that's all there if you want to add it to your bash RC file it's up to you but you can see that when you run it wait for 10 seconds and you watch your videos uh, pretty convenient and I use this a lot you know when I go to sleep or I, when I need to go to sleep and watch something uh, this is what I turn on and I uh, just take a nap or whatever and uh, like I said the reason I like uh, VLC is because I can actually tile it to uh, you know different places or whatever right and uh, it's much better than the GUI that they have so that's it if you want to use it uh, I'll post you the commandies uh, somewhere in my blog or whatever that's it for this one